Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos and I'm playing Starbound version 1.0 and in this Let's Learn video I'm going to fulfill a request made by Doom Teradax who wanted me to create a video based on how to install mods to Starbound. Now I'm going to show both ways to do it, both the manual way as well as uh, through the workshop in Steam. So let's go ahead and start with the manual way. First thing I'm going to do is go over to the Chucklefish community forums which is community.playstarbound dot com and it looks like this all right and uh, if you look at the top here there is a link that goes to their mod section if you click on that it'll take you into this cool little interface which shows a bunch of different mods allowing you to filter and uh, sort by different states so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on one of them that looks interesting to you so let's say the Salok. All right, looks like a whole other race. So um, you, you click on the link, you read everything you need, a lot of stuff in this one. And then once uh, you decided to pick it up, you go ahead and hit download now. Now the downloads could be in a lot of different formats, like this one in particular is in .rar format. So you're gonna want to uh, use WinRAR to, un or to uh, unzip it. So I'm not gonna click on this one. But, um, but yeah, okay, <laughs> I, I just got put into a naughty loop. So be careful where you click. Um, yeah, so um, it could come in, t in, a, in a zip file, it can be a RAR file, it could be a, a 7Z file. Uh, you know, want to make sure to have the corresponding software to um, unarchive those files when you get them. So the, the mods themselves, they come into, in two different formats. The first format, let me go ahead and go over here. And here, oh, yeah, we're going to mods download. So uh, the first format that you're going to see uh, is this .pack file. Now this is the easiest way to, to mod your Starbound installation manually. The .pack file, all you have to do is copy and then go to Starbound, your Starbound directory in your Steam or GOG library and then go to the mods folder. I'm gonna go and delete these, apparently. I was doing this earlier. And then just copy paste. And that's all you have to do for a .pack file. For something that you get that comes in like a more of a, like a folder with a bunch of files in it, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the meta fi metadata file here is on the first level of the folder that you're entering into your starbound dot mo uh, slash mod folder. So what I mean by that is if you get a package that's, okay, so let's say you get a package that says base in a box and you double click it and it has two more folders like this, then you know to use, okay, and then you keep going until you find the metadata. You wanna go one up and use this folder. You do not wanna use the second layer of folders. So like I wouldn't copy paste this right into the mods directory. I would go in, take this folder, let's take both of these folders, and then we'll just double check. So metadata is here too. Take both these folders and then copy them into your mods directory. And that's really all you need to do. If something hasn't changed after you, you know, start the game up and and you're like, what where did that like I, I downloaded this this one, oops. I downloaded this one mod that just didn't work at all. The Kimono Race and Nijin Race, um, they didn't work. But if you go into the into the the link for those particular ones, let's see, um, downloads Nijin Kimono. Nope. Yeah, if you go into any of these links here, you can then click on Discussion and you can see whether or not pe other people are having the same problem as you. I'll, I, I'll tell you right now, I will not be able to help you uh, troubleshoot any mods that don't work. You're, you're gonna have to come to where you downloaded it, go to discussions and see if there's anything in particular that, that, that's wrong with the mod. So let's go ahead and start our Starbound and see if, um, that actually did anything. All right, so the two mods that we installed, one was the extended playlist. 
So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get ourselves a musical instrument, but am I in admin mode? I think so, yep. So spawn item flute. Go ahead and equip that flute. And there we go. This mod has ex expanded this table, so it's easier to see all the text related to our particular piece of music. This other mod, which I found really cool, and I wish I had when I was doing colony building, which is called uh, Base in a Box. It allows you to have this, uh, it gives you this science station thingy here. It's a very important thingy. And it, once you place it, you have some more options on what you want to build. Okay, so let's do Base in a Box Quad. All right, let me go ahead and fast forward again. All right, so let's go ahead and place this base in a box. You can see that I've already tested it out. Man, isn't that awesome? And you, apparently you can scan bases and then re-replicate it. I really, really, really wish I had this mod before I started doing colonies. But all right, so that is how you install mods. Uh, manually. So let's go ahead and move on to the Steam Workshop. Okay, so for the Steam Workshop, all you gotta do is go to your your Steam Starbound area and click on this button here to browse the workshop. Now I'm gonna finally get this mod that I really, really wanted. XS Mex Vehicle Edition. And all you gotta do is click on subscribe. Boom. Now we can go and take a look at our mods folder and see if it's changed. It hasn't. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the game, see if it's changed at all. And oh yes. <laughs> yes, this is what I want. All right, let's see. I got enough money for it. I think I'm in admin mode st still too, so it may, uh... Ugh. This one looks cool. I'm gonna get it. Alright, use my money. Alright, let's, um... Zoom on back to our base and see this thing in action. Actually, let's just go to some random... Quest, uh, smooth ice. Let's do that. Let's go to some random flag I've got. Oh man, this is exciting for me. Oh, look at that thing. It's awesome. Oh, yes. Even pushes you back a little bit. So right click. What does that do? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, this is so cool. Is there anything want to shoot? Let's see what this thing does. Oh. Oh, it holds it in place. No, it doesn't. I don't know what the right click does. It's still cool, though. How much can you thrust? You can thrust forever! Alright, obviously I'm enjoying this too much. Oh, it even has a cool, like... Hero landing. Little puffs of smoke. Oh, that's too cool. Alright, folks. So that is how you install on the workshop in the Steam. Which is relatively simple. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button when you find a mod that you like. Okay, and now to uninstall any mods. It's actually really easy. So for the manual state, you just delete the folders that you added. And for the workshop, all you have to do is hit unsubscribe. Let's go jump into the game and see what that looks like. Alright, so everything that was modded that was added to the game now gets changed into this whole generically, ge perfectly generic item. So my mech is gone. Very sad about that. And if I go back to my base... You'll see that anything that you added to the world is just gone. So that science station thing that I added is now gone. And if I use my flute... 
It's now back to the original table that it was there before. All right, folks, so this is Johnny Onos playing the Starbound version 1.0. If you have any questions about Starbound or any of the other games that I support, please go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. Thanks, folks. Hopefully this video helped, and I will see you all in the next episode.